Hello and welcome to Tantrum House. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows and today we're going to take a look at Cauldron Bubble and Boil. It's coming to Kickstarter this July. Cauldron Bubble and Boil is a card game that employs some bonanza-like mechanics. It also involves a little bit of memory, and it comes with some really cool black plastic cauldrons. In the game, players will use their cards to cast hexes, plant gardens, and brew secret potions. Let's take a look at some of the prototype components now. The game consists of a deck of 76 cards, resource cubes and discs, a scoreboard, crone tokens, four player boards, and four plastic cauldrons. At the beginning of the game, players take one ingredient cube of each color and put them into their cauldron. They also draw five cards and place their marker on the score track. Each turn, players can begin by casting a hex if they have the necessary ingredients. They can harvest a cube off of each of their gardens. They can then plant a garden by laying down at least two cards that have the same matching color symbols at the top. Uh, you could also use a wild card. They can decide to record a recipe in their recipe book by placing a card under their cauldron, and then finally at the end of the turn they draw back up to five cards. There are several different endgame conditions that can be met in order to trigger, trigger the final round. Uh, if two or more piles of ingredients are depleted, if the last chrome token or corruption disc is taken from the supply, and if a player reaches the top of their skull track, or once a player has placed their seventh recipe into their recipe book. Once one of the conditions is met, players each get a final turn so that everyone has had the same number of turns in the game, and then you move to final scoring. For scoring, players empty their cauldrons, they also reveal their recipes, and then they see how many of the recipes that they can successfully fulfill using their cubes. The player with the highest score wins the game. One of the things I enjoyed most about the game was that each turn you were placing your ingredient cubes into your cauldron, but when you place your recipes under your cauldron, you have to make sure that they match what's in your cauldron because you're not allowed to look at either one once, you've been, once they've been placed. Uh, another part of the game is that the hexes that you play on others or others play on you will affect what's in your cauldron. Uh, sometimes you'll add corruption discs and those will cancel out an ingredient so you may come up short at the end. Uh, they also may pull cubes out of your cauldron so uh, you can pay attention to what's been pulled out and what you may need to replace. One of the things I enjoyed about the game was the way that the cards are designed because each card actually serves three different purposes. I could have seen, I could have easily seen them playing the game and having three separate decks to do all this stuff with, but I love the fact that you have your garden at the top of the card, you've got your hex in the middle and everything that's required to do with that, and then you've got your recipe at the bottom. So you've always got some really good choices to make in the game because you're looking at, uh, do I want to save this for my garden so I can get a lot of cubes uh, that match, or do I want to cast this hex because it's really powerful, or do I think that this is an easy to get recipe that I can get really, really quickly? Uh, there are a couple of expansions that are included in the game that we did not try out yet. Uh, but the game was pretty enjoyable by itself. Uh, they would add things like asymmetrical character powers and some event cards, and that would uh, add to the replayability of the game. And those are all themed really well as well. I think the event cards are called like the moon deck, and then as the phases of the moon go, different things happen. Uh, I think those are also going to be Kickstarter stretch goals, so uh, if they hit those levels, then they'll add these things to the game, which will be really nice because, like she said, we enjoyed it. It's very solid. Uh, that would just be icing on the cake, and I think it'd be a really, really cool addition to the game. Uh, so be sure to check out their Kickstarter, and then uh, also while you're on our site, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we bring new Kickstarter videos all the time, and we'd love to keep you informed as to what great stuff is coming to our hobby.